Hi friends and welcome back to another cleaning video. Today I'm going to be cleaning my whole house and disinfecting as I go along. There's a lot to be disinfected these days so I wanted to make sure and focus on getting things really really clean and disinfected so I sprayed things and let it sit longer than normal and hopefully it's helpful for you. If you are new here, my name is Katie Satilli. I post videos every Monday and Wednesday, and I wanted to invite you to hit that red subscribe button followed by the bell for notifications. I would love to have you as part of the subscriber community. Also, I wanted to let you know that today's video is a collab with one of my sweet friends here on YouTube and Instagram. Her name is Bronte Requay, and she is awesome, awesome, awesome. You've gotta go check out her channel. Channel. She is a mom of two. She does a bunch of DIYs on a budget and she does tons of cleaning inspiration on her channel and just kind of mom life stuff. A lot of DIYs. So if you haven't checked out her channel yet, make sure you go check it out. Let her know that Katie sent you and give her a big high five and air hug from us. So I don't know about you guys, but my kids have been home a lot more lately than usual um, due to the crazy coronavirus that's going around. And um, so we have so many art projects all over the house. We've got just plates and bowls and forts. I'm sure you saw in the beginning of this video. The kids room is a complete disaster. It's just crazy town over here so I wanted to <laughs> try and get ahead so my husband took the kids upstairs to give them a bath and I was downstairs getting a lot of cleaning done and it's not perfect but it's definitely a lived in type of feel. We just have so many people in such a small little space that um, we just do the best we can with what we've got. And just in case you are new here, we're a family of five. We live in Los Angeles, California, and we have three young kiddos, ages six, four, and one and a half. We live here in Los Angeles, like I said, and it's me and my husband and our three kids, and we live in a pretty small condo. So yeah, that's the explanation of why things are a little bit cramped. So now that I've wiped down a bunch of the places that are commonly touched or grabbed in the kitchen, I wanted to disinfect the stove and then also the trash can. So I read the back and it said that it needed, actually I forgot, <laughs> I forget how long it said to leave it, but however long it said to leave it to sanitize, it, um, I went ahead and did that. So I sanitized the stove and then I sanitized the trash can here in just a minute. And I feel much better after getting everything kind of sanitized and disinfected.
So now that the stove is all done and the trash can is done, I'm going to try and disinfect the sink and try to get things as clean as possible. I was actually listening to another YouTuber talk about how they had read somewhere that sinks are a major place of bacteria. And so I wanted to make sure and get this area extra clean just um, because of everything going on. And then also just because we are slobs and make lots of food in the kitchen lately, especially. And so I wanted to make sure to get this area really clean. I wanted to ask how many of you out there are newly homeschooling your kids. I have those homeschooling craft projects back there, the ones that I'm putting on the table right now. I've had to force myself to get a little bit more organized and intentional when it comes to my kids because we can't just sit around the house doing nothing all day long. It's just too much. Um, also, I am wiping down this part of the chairs because in my last week's video where I was sanitizing the house, one of you guys suggested that I should do the top part of the chairs and I thought, oh yeah, we're, because you said where everybody grabs it um, to pull it out from the table and I thought, that is genius. I don't know why I haven't thought of that before, so I went ahead and did that today. So now I am just gonna be pulling over this little shelf, dresser, desk, whatever you call this thing, um, with all of the bins in it. I know it's not like the prettiest thing to look at, but it is just our reality for right now. I like it because it has a lot of storage in it. And I think that that is like a really helpful thing. We don't have a closet downstairs, like a coat closet or anything. So I like to have that thing filled with different things like towels or craft supplies or books or whatever stuff like that so um, I was going ahead and moving it from behind the dining room table back to where it had been before Christmas I wanted to kind of like switch things up a little bit because I don't know I just get bored of having things the same way all the time and so I had left it there after Christmas and then I got bored of it being there so I wanted to move it back so yeah that's my explanation and as you can see the kids are downstairs from taking their bath and Sean was downstairs as well on the sidewalk when we bumped into this person that I knew I knew you thought it was an old flame but I told you it's not so late
I did want to tell you guys a really exciting announcement that's going to be happening here on my channel. I am starting a new cleaning channel, so I wanted to announce that to you all and let you know that I have it linked down in the description. I would love, love, love it and appreciate it so much if you'd go over and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. I will be launching it in um, April, and so right now I'm just working with a graphic artist on getting everything set up as far as the banner and picture and all that kind of stuff. So I'd love it if you guys would go over and subscribe. I am going to be trying something new. My channel has been kind of declining to be quite honest for the past like six months and I've been super frustrated trying to figure out ways to kind of pump it back up but um, unfortunately it's kind of not working. So I wanted to try something new. I've seen other people doing this where they're starting new channels and just doing strictly cleaning. So I wanted to go ahead and try that out for myself. So this video or this channel will still be here. I'll still have videos pumping out on this channel. But I also have my second channel that will be starting up in April and it is going to be called Katie's Cozy Clean Home. And so I'd love, love, love it if you would go over and subscribe and hit the bell notifications and yeah, I'd love it. Thank you, obviously I love it. Can you tell I've said I love it like a million times. So anyways, that's the announcement. Hope you're excited. I'm super, super excited about it. So now that my kids are doing some crafts and coloring and stuff at the table, I am going to be heading in and windexing the main window that we have right here or sliding glass door and just getting that thing all clean. It's so easy to get dirty with the kids fingerprints and pollen coming from outside and all that kind of stuff. So I wanted to make sure that I did a really good job of windexing it and then I think that I went ahead and cleaned off all of the door handles. Either I have already done that or I'm about to do that in the video. So now I'm just taking a Lysol wipe and I am wiping down different areas in the living room that get touched a lot. I did this in last week's video as well, but I wanted to make sure and do it again. Just with everything going on with the coronavirus, I wanted to make sure to get things really clean and to do it consistently, not to just do it once, but to do it consistently. And then I wanted to come in here into the bathroom and really get this area very disinfected and clean. I feel like this is just a breeding ground for germs. And I do have young kids and they're just fingers everywhere. I don't know, I just really, really, really wanted to do a thorough job of cleaning the bathroom. So that's what I'm doing next. Like a song, like a perfect 
I also wanted to invite you guys to follow me over on Instagram. I really love connecting with you guys there and I am obsessed with posting in my Insta stories every single day. So if you want to get to know me a little bit better or hang out with me a bit, I would love it if you'd go follow me over on my Instagram. It's just katie.satilli pretty simple and actually right now we are on the tail end of doing a $300 target giveaway if you guys want to enter that that would be awesome as well something straight out of magazine i cross my to hit my phone up none of that pretentious life no 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 don't need no pills to get high there's no doubt in my mind your love is all that i need So I went ahead and grabbed the trash can because all of my trash throughout the house needed to be emptied and I wanted to go ahead and sanitize the trash cans as well after I emptied them so I went ahead and sprayed that stuff. It says that I believe it says 20 minutes for disinfecting. I think that's it and then three or 30 seconds for sanitizing I think I'm not absolutely sure this is my son Hudson he is going to be turning two in May so he was trying to escape outside the door as you can see and I'm just going ahead and cleaning off all the door handles I know I had done this in last week's video but I wanted to go ahead and do it again if you are interested in sanitizing or disinfecting your home I have a list that I compiled just after reading different articles and looking on Pinterest and looking around my own home. So I will include that in the description box if you want to disinfect and sanitize your home as well and kind of have like a list to go off of. So I'll make sure and include that in the description box. So quick story, my husband went to Costco yesterday. We had to do some grocery shopping. And so we went to Costco. If you are following me on Instagram, you'll remember the video that I posted of our Costco with the line wrapped around the parking lot like multiple times. It is kind of crazy lately. But anyways, so my husband went to um, just go pick up a few things that we needed, but the line was like insane. So he decided to stay in it just to because he was already there. We figured you might as well. So he was there for about an hour and a half waiting and he got in. They were only letting 25 people in at a time um, just to try and keep the social distancing, I think, going on. Anyways, so he went in and went straight back to the toilet paper so that we could get a pack of toilet paper and they did have some um which was a miracle and so they handed him one and then right next to it was the paper towels and so he handed them um, or they handed him a case of paper towels it was like he didn't even ask for it it was just like the things that they're running super um, low on they were just handing them out to people as they were walking up so we got a huge thing of paper towels I mean their limit was one per person so it's not like we got a ton of anything we're not like stocking up or hoarding or anything but um, we actually didn't have any paper towels so it was kind of awesome but 
Anyways, I don't know why I'm telling you this long story about paper towels, but that's the story of how we got the paper towels that I'm using today. <laughs> So again, I'm just going around our bedroom and wiping down all of the door handles, trying to get things sanitized and all that stuff. So that's what I'm doing right now and um, there's not too many more doors to go upstairs. Now I'm heading into the kids' bedroom. It was quite the disaster, which I thought would be perfect for this cleaning video, but no, I did not stage it. This is just naturally how their room was looking. Um, I don't know what goes on in my children's room at night when they go to bed. They make the biggest disaster, and it's funny because we're downstairs, so we can't really hear if they're up and moving around. Um, we sometimes can hear them if they're like stepping around on the floor and it creaks. But um, a lot of times I come in in the morning and I'm like, what happened in here? This is complete chaos. So anyways, they like to set up their beds with their stuffed animals and their books and all kinds of stuff. But I have to go in here every once in a while and just like do a major clean out on their beds um, and get rid of all of their little collection of stuff that they put together. Um, not get rid of it, but put it away where it actually belongs. My daughter Fiona came in and was so upset. I cut the whole part out because she was crying, but one of her art projects got ruined downstairs. I um, had gone to um, Walmart while I was getting my groceries and I went ahead and bought them a new case of colored pencils, markers, and crayons. And then I had gone to Target, um, I think the week before and gotten some sidewalk chalk and some colored paper and I'm telling you guys it has been a lifesaver having that stuff in the house so if you don't have craft items that are kind of like helpful you can easily look up stuff on Pinterest to do with like different colored paper all that kind of stuff I would highly recommend investing in some craft projects um, and supplies Gazing at 
So thank you guys so much for watching another cleaning video with me. Don't forget to hit the red subscribe button before you leave. And don't forget to go check out Bronte Requay's video. I have it down in the description box. And I also have her channel linked as well.